This is a leaning tower in Leeuwarden, just like Pifa Tower in Italy. But wait, how did I come here? I got in the train from Amsterdam Central Station. One way ticket cost is 29 euro. Train trip takes about two hours. I rented a bicycle from public transportation company. 24 hour rental is 4 euro and 25 cents. But you need an OV cheap card. Dutch Pizza Tower is just 3 minutes from the train station by bike. I know some of you guys are thinking the reason of leaning is the coffee shop culture in the Netherlands because of some high construction workers. But there is another story. All the Hove is a leaning and unfinished church tower. It's been standing since 1529 and it leans more than the leaning tower of Pisa in Italy. The tower's tilt began during construction. The builders tried to compensate for the tilt, but the project was stopped in 1532. The height of the tower is 39 meters and it has 183 steps. This is Ceramic Museum, a former palace and also the birthplace of the world famous graphic artist Escher. The world famous Dutch by Matahari lived six years in this house. This is the house where Matahari was born. In the upstairs they were living, downstairs her father was selling hats and caps. They are still keeping the same shop here. Here in her owners, I was born here in 1876 and my father had a hat and cap store here. Margarita Zell, better known by the stage name Matahari, was a Dutch exotic dancer and courtesan. At 18, Margarita answered an advertisement in a Dutch newspaper placed by a Dutch colonial army captain who was looking for a wife. She moved with her husband to Java Island, studied Indonesian culture intensely for several months and joined a local dance company. Then she revealed her artistic name of Matahari, the word for eye of the day in the local Malay language. In 1903, she moved to Paris. By 1904, she became a famous exotic dancer. During World War I, the Netherlands remained neutral, so as a Dutch, Matahari was able to cross national borders freely. To avoid the battlefields, she traveled between France and the Netherlands via Spain and Britain, and her movements attracted attention. Long story short, in 1917, Matahari was arrested in her room in Paris. She was tried, accused of spying for Germany and consequently causing the deaths of at least 50,000 soldiers. Matahari was executed a firing squad in 1917. She was 41 years old. According to an eyewitness, she defiantly blew a kiss to the firing squad. Now I am cycling to the next important spot, Jacobin Church. This is the largest medieval church in the city and is Leeuwarden's oldest building. Great or Jacobin Church was built in the 13th century. The building was originally part of the Dominican monastery founded in 1245. Next up is Central Pharmacy is not far away from the church. It's built in 1904 in Art Nouveau forms to a design by architect Gerardus Berendt Brockma. The building is mainly built in yellow bleaching stone. On the facade side, we see Hygia, the Greek goddess of health. This is St. Bonifatius Church. It's a Roman Catholic church, one of the highlights of the career of famous Dutch architect Pierre Kuipers, who designed the famous Rijksmuseum and the Central Station in Amsterdam. The church was built in 1880. It is the highest church tower of Friesland, crowned by a high wooden spire at 85 meters in height. Now it's time to return to the city centrum and see the daily life there. Let me show you Leeuwarden city centrum streets a little bit. Typical Dutch life with a lot of bicycles around. After May, in spring and summertime, you can have a boat tour here, just like Amsterdam. Hola, senor, professional barber. Haircut is 20 euro. Unfortunately, the walk is under renovation. Normally, when it's open, it's a cafe and restaurant, so you can have your drinks in the terrace if there's a nice weather or inside. Hey, look what we have found here in Leeuwarden. A febo fastest food also in Leeuwarden. Look at the prices. Chicken burger 4 euro. Bummy snack 3 euro. Cheese souffle 3 euro. I will get a cheese souffle. After a febo dinner, I visit a few bars. The first one is Cafe Good Evening, cozy and warm, friendly people. The second one is a live music bar, popular place, cafe scooters, no entrance fee is required. Blockhouse Port, a former prison 
Nowadays a cultural center. This is the place I stay here tonight. Blockhouse Gate used to be a prison, is now a lively cultural center. There was a prison in this location as early as the year 1500. Bottom floor cells are used as ateliers by artists. Also some of the cells have pictures and information from the old history of the prison. A part of the old prison building is a hostel nowadays. You can stay there with budget friendly prices, also not far from the city centrum. I'm ready to sleep. This is showing how I was released from the prison next day. 